Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Lessons with Lydia. I think this is episode four now. I've had such good feedback from it so far so I'm gonna keep continuing and I'm really personally enjoying sharing all these things with you. As I say in everyone, what I share is not fact, it's just my opinion. Um, fashion is subjective and yeah, take from it what you will and try and enjoy the video. So today's lesson is all time style essentials. It might be quite a long video so I'm gonna go through everything quite succinctly and try and get it compact and not too rambly, fingers crossed. So basically I'm gonna talk about those pieces in your wardrobe that you'll have forever. Things like the little black dress, the white shirt, classic ballet flats. Things that you know you can pull out year after year and they'll never ever go out of style. Basically, timeless pieces for all year round as well. I'm gonna mention a couple of more summer pieces and a couple more winter pieces, but in general, they're quite staple all year round pieces. If you are new to the channel, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and also go and follow me on Instagram. My handle is at Lydia Jane Tomlinson and it will be linked below so you can go over there and you can see lots of different outfits outfits on there, how I'm styling things, and yeah, just more insight into my day-to-day -day style and life. So let us begin with all-time style essential number one, which is what I've just mentioned, the little black dress. So this is an absolute wardrobe icon staple. Probably we all have one, but it's just one of those things that we can gravitate to time and time again. Obviously it harks back to those Audrey Hepburn in Givenchy days, um, the little black dress and just so classic and timeless. Those pieces you could bring to now and still be able to wear. And for me, I just find that every now and again, when you are completely fumbled about what to wear, gravitating towards that little black dress is just the perfect option. You can style it up and down and it just becomes a fail safe. I have a couple of versions. A recent one for me is a puff sleeve Zara rendition. A little bit more of a modern update, but I think it is worth investing in a timeless style, something maybe sleeveless or high necked um, that's classic and you can wear time and time again. Maybe go shopping and try on a few or order a few different items and try them on. See which really flatters you and suits you the best and that will be one that you can wear year after year. So this is absolutely all time of year piece. It's the white shirt, classic white oversized men's shirt. Just looks so chic. Doesn't have to be men's as such, but I think something a little bit slouchy, not too fitted, just really crisp white cotton shirt is just unbeatable. You could dress that up so easily. I love wearing things like that dressed up and it really strikes that kind of high-low balance. It doesn't look like you've made too much of an effort, but with it being a shirt, it's also quite smart. I love a white shirt in summer, just with jeans. You can wear it as a beach cover-up. You can wear it in the evening with like a midi skirt. And then in winter, it's perfect, perfect layering piece. I love wearing a shirt under a jumper, just to add a bit more of a point of interest. But a white shirt is something you will not regret buying because it's just so effortless and easy. Before I go on, I will mention my outfit that I'm wearing. It's both, the, both the earrings and the dress are old from Zara, both of them, um, so I can't link them, I'm sorry. I'll try and find something similar to link, but that is just thought I'd mention what I'm wearing. So the next all time style essential is the trench coat. I absolutely love a trench coat. So easy, so versatile. Great when the weather's not good, which in the UK, as I mentioned, pretty much in every video, it's not that great, but it looks really nice. I think if you are in a warmer climate, but it's maybe like a rainy, miserable day, I think trench coats look really nice with like shorts and a strappy top or just a white t-shirt and some ballet flats. And they also look really nice you know, just one with trainers, they work really well for work. I think, again, something a little bit more oversized. A longer one for me is more timeless and um, just goes with everything. And then find that colour that suits you. I personally would go for a neutrally beige, something a bit more on the grey side of beige, not a camely side, but you may suit camels more or something a bit warmer. But that kind of neutral tone, I think, is an absolute classic. 
So I am going to touch on shoes, bags, accessories a little bit. And the first pair of shoes is the strappy heel. This is just something that you know you can go to with every outfit. For me, it's kind of a nudie sandal, maybe something just so, so simple, like um, with an ankle strap and then a cross strap across the front of the foot. But just a strappy heel, maybe in a tan color, nude or white or black, something really simple and classic that you know will go with every dress, every pair of jeans, anything you need for an evening. And it doesn't look maybe too dressy and it doesn't look too casual. I feel like the strappy sandal just per strikes that perfect balance. And I definitely think you could get away with them in winter, especially if it's a black pair as well. And I often find they look really nice with a pair of tights. I actually wore some strappy sandals for New Year's Eve with a pair of like sheer tights. So definitely strappy heel is an all time shoe essential. The next one I'm gonna mention is a classic black crossbody bag. I would go kind of towards one with a gold chain strap just so you can wear it for evening. It looks really nice in the daytime. It looks good in summer because it's got that gold but also works really well for winter and black leather just goes with everything. I think even if you're not somebody who wears black even, um, it just goes with so much of your wardrobe and surprisingly looks really nice for summer. So don't be scared of wearing a black bag in summer. I also touched upon this in my handbag lessons. So go over there if you wanna know a little bit more about classic handbags and the ones I think are essentials in your wardrobe. So another all time style essential that comes around all the time is a leather jacket. For me, I would go for a black leather jacket, but again, I think it really depends on your skin tone and what you wear a lot, what goes in your wardrobe. I know like a brown leather jacket is another classic and timeless piece, but for me, it's a black leather jacket, just goes with everything, it makes things look a lot more casual, which I, I really like doing. If you're wearing like more of a feminine pretty dress, putting on a leather jacket toughens it up, makes it a little bit more casual and it just works well for so many different things and will come round year after year. I'm personally at the moment going for a more oversized fit not saying that won't change, but at the moment, slightly less fitted, I think, is, is what is gonna happen for the foreseeable future in fashion. So my next pair of shoes is the classic ballet flat pumps. Just a very simple rounded toe ballet flat that you can put on with anything. Again, go for something that is a color that you wear a lot. I would always go for a neutral, like a a brownie leather or a tan leather, something that you can just pop on with so much. I think they're so flattering too. And again, it's a testament to the ballet flat when you can go back 50, 60, 70 years even and see old Hollywood film stars wearing the classic ballet flat shoe and then that never goes out of style. So definitely a style essential. A striped t-shirt is another one on my list. I would personally think maybe a long sleeve striped t-shirt. It's very kind of Bridget Bardo, relaxed French Riviera feeling. Just something that you can chuck on with a pair of shorts and you look so effortless and stylish. And I think something that's perhaps a little looser fitting and not too tight. Again, I think that just adds the element of it being very relaxed and effortless. I don't think there's ever been a time where I've thought that a striped t-shirt is not in fashion. It's a classic print, it's a classic style. And something that if you don't wanna wear a plain outfit, you can just pop on and it's still quite neutral and simple, but just gives it a bit of extra something. Another wardrobe style essential are a pair of loafers. I invested in the Gucci Princeton ones, so they're the backless style and I have worn them to death already since getting them last year, I think. I got the color called brown, but it's more like a top, and that really does go with so much in my wardrobe. It goes really nicely with blacks and denims and different styles of trousers, skirts, and you can just chuck them on. And I think the same with a lot of loafers, to be honest. They're, they're a style classic, and I think gives your look a really smart finish without looking really formal. And just to carry on from the shoes, a black ankle boot is an absolute 
fail safe. Anything, I mean, again, I think all of these pieces that I'm mentioning, you should tailor to your lifestyle, you should tailor to your wardrobe, what you've already got and what you think will enhance that. So for example, a black kitten heel boot, maybe something you go to, maybe you don't do a lot of walking in your job, maybe it's more of a desk job where you could wear a kitten heel and then you could wear those for evening as well. Or if you're somebody who runs around all the time, a black flat Chelsea boot style would be the ones for you. So although I am, the, the kind of term of black flat ankle boot is the umbrella and then you can adjust that to your lifestyle but they are something that you can definitely get so much wear out of and even going in through spring as well and the start of autumn I think they work just as well and maybe not middle of summer, height of summer but um, I definitely think there's a lot of times that you could get your wear out of a black ankle boot. I've lost track of how many essentials we're on now but the white t-shirt is again an absolute fail safe very much in the similar category to the white shirt in, in that I think a slightly more oversized one is better or not necessarily oversized, I don't mean something really baggy but not quite as fitted I think instantly it looks more modern and on trend. Something with a crew neck I think is really chic, it's timeless, it goes with everything, you know that if you take a white t-shirt on holiday you'll be able to get a lot of wear out of that. I love the idea of dressing up a white t-shirt if you've got something like a white t-shirt, denim jeans, heels and some nice earrings, you're good to go. So it's a real kind of piece that glues so many different outfits together and I think really cements a lot of your maybe trend-led pieces. Next would be a neutral sweater. These are again ones I kind of like got traveling in mind and like what you would really want as a capsule traveling wardrobe and if you've not got a big case what you could really get a lot of wear out of and I think a lot of these fall into that category. So a neutral sweater, something again tailor it to your life on your wardrobe on what suits you and your body shape but I love like a v-neck sweater um, or a round crew neck one. You can throw it over your shoulders, you can wear it as a proper jumper, you can wear it with a shirt or like a Victoriana style blouse underneath if you want a bit of layering it looks nice underneath a jacket or a coat there's so many ways you can wear a neutral sweater it goes with black trousers it goes with brown trousers it goes with jeans it goes with midi skirts um you definitely will really get your wear out of it and it's such a kind of timeless piece that if you make an investment with it and get a really nice quality fabric one you'll be able to tell i think with with a sweater you can really tell a good quality one and two you will really get good cost per wear because you'll find you wear it a lot and so we move on to black trousers i would say black straight trousers or black cigarette trousers are timeless they go with so much and again, great to take you from work to casual to smart to drinks to weekend, you know, they fit so many categories. And also I think another thing to mention about all these pieces is that they'll look so good with each other. So you could wear the black trousers with your white t-shirt with the neutral sweater over the top and then your ballet flats. So there's so many ways that you can combine all of these pieces. I think if you've got these style essentials, you are kind of fixed for life. I'm not saying don't add anything else in, but these are kind of core basics and black trousers certainly is one of those. And so we come on to white trainers, which you'll know I love my white trainers, my Adidas Stan Smiths I am obsessed with. And just any plain white trainers I think is so nice, so versatile. I'm maybe thinking about getting some golden goose ones um, just to add into my wardrobe. I really like the Saint Laurent ones as well if you want to make a bit more of investment. Or the Common Projects ones as well, I really like. You can also find them really at affordable prices on the high street. I think my latest pair was from Mango. I think maybe about $25.99 or something. They're just a canvas pair of white trainers that you can go anywhere in and they're so comfy. They look really nice with smart trousers but also worn casually as well. I think what I mean by a classic white trainer is something not too chunky. Obviously we've seen a lot of chunky styles around lately but something that just kind of goes nicely around your ankle if that makes sense. Kind of comes quite low in your ankle. I think that's a lot more flattering 
basic tie up in like um, a canvas or a leather. So in terms of coats, I think you can't go wrong but with a nice, smart, straight coat. I bought one from Zara a couple of years ago in navy and I know that it will never go out of style. It's, it's a classic. I think it's double breasted. I'll insert some pictures, but it really just looks so chic with everything. I know, know that I can go to that on those days that I'm feeling a bit blah don't know what to wear if I put that coat on with pretty much anything it looks really good and I don't don't feel like you can't wear a smart coat casually because you can I think they look so nice with like hoodie hoodie joggers and some trainers or even like gym leggings you could wear it with and it just again strikes that high low balance of mixing really casual pieces with smart pieces I like that contrast and you know if you make that investment you can wear it for work you can wear it on a shopping trip you can wear it out for lunch you can wear it in the evening you can wear it at the weekend you know you won't go wrong with a smart coat I personally went for a navy one I don't have that much navy in my wardrobe but I wear it with black again I think it looks really nice with black and neutrals too so I think get a colour if you are going to make an investment with a smart coat get a colour that you know you'll definitely get a lot of wear out of and will combine well with your pieces. Whilst we are on jackets I'm going to move on to the denim jacket which I've worn so much lately. I bought one, a new one in spring, an oversized one from H&M and I've worn it so so much it is really a classic and although it's probably a more summer piece you could definitely wear it in winter layered under a coat or a trench coat I think it would look really lovely with. I went for a more oversized style I think as I've been mentioning throughout the video just go for what suits you best. These are timeless pieces so don't be particularly led by current trends just really I would go for more what suits you and your body shape and I got a lot of questions about how do I know what shapes suit me but I think that is a case of trial and error you I think you instantly know when you look in the mirror whether something looks good on you or, or not so my advice would be to go to a shop and try lots of different styles on and shapes and cuts and then try them on with something really plain and you'll know which ones work and which ones don't just from the way they look on your body and in the mirror. Another pair of wardrobe essential shoes are tan sandals. I got some this year from Mango but I've had some in the past from Zara. Worn them to death, so easy. Um, I think something classic, don't necessarily invest in a pair of chunky sandals. I love chunky sandals at the moment but I think if you want an all-time classic go for something a little bit more delicate because they're more timeless so my mango ones are just very very plain strappy my Zara ones are just a plain leather strap across and again go for something that suits your foot and your leg and there are so many different outfits to wear tan sandals with it's pretty much well it is a neutral that goes with everything and it looks good with denim jeans if it's a cooler day or all your different kinds of shorts in terms of accessories, I think a pair of tortoiseshell sunglasses are a fail safe. And with tortoiseshell, don't think that you don't suit tortoiseshell because you may only suit one particular shade, but there are so many different shades of tortoiseshell. So there are lots more kind of yellowy kind of tortoise tortoiseshells tortoiseshells, yellowy shades and more orangey ones. I've got a pair of Celine ones that are more grey and black which suit me better. So don't think that tortoiseshell just is one kind of brown. It's so many different shades and try and find a shade that suits you because tortoiseshell is such a classic. It reminds me of kind of old school Cary Grant style sunglasses. So they are timeless. I think if you are going to really go for some like a timeless pair of sunglasses make sure you try them on of course you need to know what fits your face shape best um, so definitely try them on and go for something that's perhaps not too blingy quite simple and suits your face shape I think that's obviously the essential my final piece I'm going to talk about is a black blazer obviously if you followed me for a while I harp on about the black blazer a lot Again, find something that suits your body and you will wear it to death. You can wear it over the shoulders, you can wear it worn casually, worn smartly, worn for evening. You really will get a lot of wear out of a black blazer. And I do think it's worth 
investing a little bit more and other stories do some really really nice black blazers and such good quality as well. So that is my roundup of all time wardrobe essentials and I really think all of those pieces would pretty much make up an entire wardrobe. I kind of feel like challenging myself now to getting those pieces and trying to make a lot of different outfits but I think there is something for every occasion there actually. I'm sure I've probably missed a couple off or there's a couple of things that you can perhaps think of. Let me know in the description box if you think of any of those wardrobe essentials. But this, like I say, I can think back to old Hollywood times and all these pieces um, are things that people wore and throughout history there are iconic images of people wearing all of these pieces. So they are, you can kind of see from the history that they are style essentials that will not go out of fashion. So definitely worth making investments for. Let me know if you liked the video anyway, give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know any other ideas for lessons with Lydia and I'd love to know what you thought of the pieces and if you agree with me. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Thank you.